All right, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. I wanted to start off today by saying Merry Christmas. It's 2017 and I got a little present for myself. It's a DJI Spark drone. Now, in the past I've used uh, a Phantom 4 drone. It's not a Phantom 4 Professional, but it's a Phantom 4 drone. And I'm real happy with the footage that it takes. But the only problem is, is the size. Now, if you take a look at the size of this thing, it's, it's as big or bigger than the box that this whole drone setup comes in. So the drawbacks and disadvantages of this is that it only films in 1080p, but I'm not too concerned with that uh, because most of the time I'm filming 1080p with my, with my Phantom 4. So I'll go ahead and get to unboxing. Um, I know there's a ton of unboxing videos. So I, but I just wanted to show you real quick what I'm going to be using. We got, I, I got this drone because we're going to be doing um, uh, a trip this summer, which I haven't revealed yet. But when I do, uh, this you'll realize the importance of this. But normally I'm carrying this big thing in the back of my top box on my scooter, and it just doesn't. It, it takes up a lot of space, and so I need a little more space. And I think going with this spark is going to make it a lot easier. It's a lot less intimidating. So we're going to get to unboxing this thing. And it's it's boxed up really nice, man. DJI knows how to how to uh, display their items. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Get this opened up. Um, like I said, this is, this is kind of an unboxing video, but it's not... Um, I know there's a ton of unboxing videos out there, but I'm just doing this kind of for my channel. Uh, they got it sealed up pretty good, but we're going to see what we got here. I got a great deal on this on, believe it or not, uh, eBay. But, uh, so here here we are. I think this is actually the case that, well, if I can get it out. Man, they got it packed in pretty good. This is the whole carrying bag that you can put your drone and everything in. I mean, you can see just in comparison, look at that. How much space how much less space that's going to take up on my scooter which will make it super nice it's going to be a great thing you know so i'm excited about that uh, this is actually the package that the drone itself comes in so we'll get to opening that i'm going to set this aside for now let's open this thing up and see see what we got here it's in a nice seems like it's sealed up but oh here we go Wow, I don't think you guys even realize how tiny this thing is. This is, well, just take a look at the battery. This is the battery on it. I mean, this is a tiny drone. My goodness. I mean, I've seen videos of this thing, but look at the size of that drone. This is going to be fantastic. It's going to work great for, for, uh, for my videos. And you can see the difference. Look at that. It's almost like the uh, 747 carrying the space shuttle, huh? Pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so that you can tell the difference in the drone size just by by looking at that. Uh, it's got flip out propellers that look pretty stout. I mean, the thing feels stout. It's heavy. It's a heavy heavy hitter, man. Cool little thing. So it, it comes with two batteries. This is the Flymore kit, and it comes with two batteries. And uh, as you can see there. It looks like I got an extra set of propellers. Yeah, extra set of propellers here. And these are all the propellers. So th this little carrying case is really nice too. It's a stout little case. I, and I think there's more that came in the bag. This is going to be, this looks like, wow. Um, this is all the, the books that it came with. That's a crazy amount of books there. Uh, probably won't read those. So we're going to throw that to the side. Let's see what else is in the in the bag. Uh, it's got a lot of foam packing. Uh, let's look. Oh, it's got all kinds of goodies in here. Looks like we got the charger, and we've got prop guards. These are these are the prop guards. I open those up for you so you can see what they look like. Yeah, those are the prop guards that actually go in there. If you're gonna Probably use it if you're going to fly it inside. It looks like a really neat setup how they go on here. I'll just see if it's... Oh yeah, that's a real easy setup. So look, that just goes on there and they click clip on. So what else do we have in here? 
looking to see what else. Oh, here's the remote control. Here's the controller. And this is really nice. Pretty stout. It feels, in your hands, it feels like a heavy duty piece of equipment. It doesn't feel cheap or cheesy. Uh, so it's a nice setup. Looks like a really good uh, drone. This is all charging cord and cable and everything. Um, looks like there's something else in here too. Oh, here's the battery charging base. That's what. That's really slick too. And uh, yeah, another cord. Looks like uh, to plug in. Um, I don't know if that's for uploading data or whatever to the drone itself. Back of the drone here, um, where it says Spark. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. That's where your actual USB jack is, and it, it, the spot for a, a card, a micro USB card. Anyhow, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas. I'll be using this in a lot of the videos. It's definitely going to be a lot more convenient than that uh, Phantom 4. I love the Phantom 4, don't get me wrong, the thing's stable in a high winds. It's great, but when you pull that thing out, people are looking, and uh, they're a little concerned. So I think this smaller smaller drone is going to be a lot less of a concern to people. They'll think of it as a toy uh, and not so much as a tool, and so that'll be a good thing. Just wanted to show you real quick. This is my uh, backpack that my Phantom 4 goes into, and you can just look at the controller even, the size of this controller. I mean, this thing's a monster. I'll compare the Phantom 4 controller to the Spark drone. Look at that. The controller's the size of the drone. I mean, it's insane. So, just to give you a, a real quick idea of that thing, look at that. Pretty cool. Anyhow, yeah, so in the past, I've if I'm going someplace a remote, I've had to carry this big backpack, which I don't mind doing for some shots, but other shots I can probably take that small drone and, and get away with a lot so that's just a size comparison on them again I'm not knocking the Phantom 4 this has been a great drone and I love it but uh, this small drone is going to be handy for um, doing uh, it's going to make it more flexible for me to do other things don't forget like share subscribe and just remember I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem thanks for watching